Angriest comment thread on YouTube by Penguin Z0 has become a popular viral video. Both Penguin Z0, the participants in the argument, and the people in the comments section seem to be amazed by the toxicity of the argument in that comment thread. This is nothing compared to some of the conversations that used to take place on places like Reddit before everyone on Reddit became a pussy. Here is an actual conversation that took place on Reddit. Usernames have been removed to protect the identity of the posters. For the purposes of this video we'll call the participants Bob, Joe, and Hank. Bob you are a bitling so fucked up the Boy Scouts expelled you for being too much of a faggot, and they accept women now. Joe hey Bob do you think it's possible that you might be able to find two cells in your piece of shit brain to rub together and make a joke that's not sexist or homophobic you idiotic of shat. Hank so proud right now. Bob at least you learned how to make a decent insult since last time. Apparently it has not dawned on you that this is an insult thread where the goal is to cause offense. A goal which I have clearly attained. So before you again publicly piss your proverbial pants I would encourage you to save some embarrassment by dropping the trigger puff for sonar and finding a better use for your time than getting offended. You are a prime cut of USDA grade Angus bitch. Joe and you are so insecure you think insulting other sexes and sexual preferences will make you seem more manly we are done here. Bob interesting you bring up sexual preferences cause you seem to enjoy being bent over and buttfucked by my insults. For the record I don't have anything against women or gay people aside from the fact that you seem to be among them. If you do not wish to respond, I understand. However, if your balls weren't removed by your social justice warrior castration, I would welcome more insults. Lay it into me. Hank look pal. I know that when the big bad priest touched you in your special place it made you feel insecure but you're a big boy now. So use your big boy words and think of something more creative than using the word faggot six times in one sentence. Because if it's insults you want, we can have a fucking go mate. Bob well if it's a war you want, it's a war you're gonna get, mate. That is if you're not gonna get offended like your buddy and cry so many bitch tears you could float down a river of douche canoes. First off, in my case I can say at the very least that the priest wanted to fuck me. I doubt you can boast similar accomplishments. As for using big words, fine, I will, at least my insults, and like yours, will go beyond vaginocentric patronization suited to an Amy Schumer special. It doesn't matter to me whether you're a faggot or not, gay or straight, you are still a resounding endorsement of abortion. Transgenders exist because some people can't stand to share your gender. You are a cupcake cunt clown so repulsive that Kevin Spacey isn't interested. School shooters draw their inspiration from you. So, you piece of moldy dick cheese. Make like a child bride from Yemen and get back in my basement. Hank A. War you say? Don't you know that melodrama isn't part of a healthy breakfast? At any rate I can later rest any worries you may have about my love life. And on that note, tell your mother we're still on for Wednesday night. I like the Amy Schumer joke, but you've got to pull up your pants cause your bias is showing. Just because I think your insults display the creative talent of a dead moose doesn't mean I'm even slightly offended by anything you say, said or plan to say about gays. In fact, your repertoire of insults that usually get you those precious liberal tears just hit the great wall of get laid nerd. I know those two inches you've got are just twitching. Twitching I say, at the mere thought of getting one over on me. But you can go ahead and take your little fella off high alert because the only thing we're fucking tonight is that fat juicy ego of yours. Bob you're not offended? I doubt it. The mere fact that you feel the need to respond is evidence that you are more triggered right now than an autistic kid next to a vacuum cleaner. As for the claims regarding your sex life, that's about as believable as the Kavanaugh accusers. I think it's obvious that the only way you ever get off is by wanking to furry yif before rocking yourself to sleep in your emotional security blanket. And yes, I will admit that I'm biased against liberals. I hold contempt for the pansy ass triggered retards who are either on their menstrual cycle or suffering from a dry spell due to being an unfuckable mentally delirious feminazi so obese they resemble Jabba the Hutt. As for you, I don't know what shit world country you smuggled yourself in from. But I do know we need a wall to keep people like you out before you start spreading your Down syndrome like the Ebola virus. However, above all, I pity you. You probably think you're clever with your insults when really your level of competence is below that of the fight choreographer in the original Star Trek. So I won't go too hard on you. 
I look down on you less with anger and offense, and more with condescension. I'd tell you to suck my balls you come guzzling thundercant, but you're so pathetic you'd probably welcome that request. This will be my last reply for today. Unlike you, I have a life beyond responding immediately to every asshat who says something stupid and contracting syphilis via bestiality. Don't worry though, you can get another ass fucking tomorrow. Hank the mere fact that I responded to you is because I like trading insults you dolt. That's why I'm here, on an insult subreddit. Because I like trading insults. I'd kindly ask you to stop projecting your sexual fantasies and preferences on me. It's disturbing. Not unlike seeing your face. I am surprised at your offer to guzzle your balls. As I didn't know you actually had those. Now I hope you get your beauty sleep. Although we both know that it's not really gonna be much help at this point. Lastly, you must understand that, because I live in a country where I don't have to work 23.15 hours a day to afford basic medical care, I actually have this thing called free time. It allows me to insult people with a below average IQ and severe lack of social skills like yourself, because I like picking on retards. I know the concept of someone not intimidated by your insults is hard to grasp, although I must admit you seem more capable than I first gave you credit for. Nevertheless you would be advised to treat your elders with more respect. I could be your father don't you know? I look forward to hearing from you. Say hi to you mum for me. P.S. Nice ass fuck joke, you faggot. Bob back for more eh? I'm impressed. I just assumed you were a crusty scrotum cum dumpster unfamiliar with and incapable of trading legitimate insults. But you have the artistry. However, that won't help you here. I am the master, and my insults are about to get as dark as the nine black cocks raping you. Good insult turning the cum guzzling thunder can't line around on me, but you seem to be confused. That offer was in no way legitimate because I would never allow even my balls to touch a creature that eats his own fesses for lunch. I was merely tantalizing you by showing you what you can't have but most desperately crave. Furthermore, your fascination with my balls seems to indicate that you are indeed, as I suspected, a faggot. And I would encourage you to come out in the manner most fitting. A suicide note. Regarding your assertion about my country's health care, say what you will, but at the end of the day I can say at the very least that my government doesn't sanction the death of babies like Charlie Gard and Alfie Evans. We have guns to prevent something like that from happening here, as well as for lynching faggots like you. While we're on the subject of government, is this subreddit even allowed in your country? Or does your government consider this hate speech because your parliament is filled with libta new world order puppets who are too pacified to withstand having their feelings hurt? You are an anus of the highest caliber. Go back home and blow your dad you cuntiserous. Hank that took you a while to write up. I bet you had to look up all the big words and that's why it took so long. I note your ongoing obsession with faggots. When the heart is full, the mouth speaks, I suppose. Good to know your self-esteem is up telling me that you think anyone would even want to come near the pathetic lump of necrosis and eczema that presumably passes for what you call your nuts. I am well aware that you have guns, because those are the things you use to shoot up all them schools. Schools I'll mention, that are so good that you're number 38 of 71 in education. A little fact that is presumably the explanation for such special cases as you. And how are those two mortgages worth of student loans working out for you? Or did you get your education sponsored because our good lord blessed you with a couple extra chromosomes? You mentioned that my parliament is full with new world order puppets. Are those puppets of the same world order that has had your best and brightest fail to win a war against illiterate sand farmers these past 10 years? And then there is the fact that you can't even board an airplane without some overweight wannabe cop slipping a finger in to see you didn't stick and of those aforementioned guns up there. But then... You don't really mind the occasional finger up the butt, eh? Which reminds me, I'm not here to talk politics. No, this is about you. Yes, you. I think you may actually be the result of immaculate conception because I refuse to believe any human DNA could be responsible for your troglodyte ass. Now make like a crack whore and commit suicide by cop. Bob apparently you enjoy licking Theresa May's AIDS ridden snatch. I guess it's a form of Stockholm Syndrome. At least I don't have to worry about getting thrown in jail for jokes unlike what happens in your free country. Interesting how you keep mentioning gun violence despite London having recently surpassed New York's murder rate. 
it's almost like pacifying the population wasn't about preventing crime, and your cops may as well shove those retarded sticks up their asses. As for the schools, those normies who aren't willing to defend themselves deserve to die, or be deported to your country. I can't decide which is worse. Freedom requires bravery, not the kind of social justice warrior bravery where a land whale takes off her clothes on a magazine that you espouse, but either taking fate into your own hands or Kurt Cobaining yourself. At least we get pissed when that Sarenal rapes us. You probably enjoy it. However, if you're not here to talk politics, I can deal with that. There is plenty of subject matter regarding your personality to use without invoking your shitty ass country that worships an old lady who isn't even hot. You are the inspiration for Pee Wee Herman. You seem englazed cuddling. I do continue to use the word faggot as an insult because apparently, unlike you, I actually detest the notion of shoving a cock up my ass. Your lack of disdain on the subject though is proof positive that you, in fact, desire the company of other men. Though, I don't know if calling you a homosexual is appropriate as I vehemently doubt you get any. Harvey Weinstein would hesitate to rape you. Sincerely, from the land of the free, fuck you. Hank dear poopy head, I told you some time ago that you should pull your pants up, because your bias was showing. Clearly you failed to do even that, I've never even been to England, nor Sweden, but I did visit Poland. Now a brave right winger like you probably knows that Poland is pretty fucking biased. Furthermore the man who seems so vehemently against a little bit of the old hump and thump, you have proposed intercourse with me for the third time now. Most puzzling indeed. I don't mind the fact that you continue to use the word faggot to insult me, I realize you can only remember so many words. What is beginning to bother me is your continued assumption that I am an SJW, or even left wing. I assume this is because you don't think that anyone on your side would take offense at the nonsense you keep spouting, despite the fact that I have on numerous occasions stated that I was actually offended by your lack of creativity. But I digress. I assume the reason you replied is because you have yet to follow your own advice and Kurt Cobain yourself, which would not only be a good idea but might actually improve your looks as well. Please name me in your suicide note, kinda regards from the land of my dicks bigger. Bob interesting that you call me uncreative yet your response opens with dear poopy head. It seems SJWs are under the influence of cognitive dissidence. I call you a social justice warrior because, if you with your limited mental capacity can recall, this spat began with you coming to the defense of an obvious queer, and someone who takes offense so easily can only be one of two things. If you wish to not be referred to as a leftist, that is a sentiment I can understand. I shall now from henceforth refer to you as autistic. You have also alleged that my insults in this thread have been limited academically, as well as creatively. The following statements should dispel that myth. You single-handedly ended the sexual revolution. Hitler was inspired to cleanse the gene pool after meeting you. The sight of your face gave Stefan Karl cancer. The Spanish flu of 1917 was caused by one drop of your blood entering the water supply. The government created AIDS in the hope it would eliminate you. You were an advisor to the George W. Bush administration. You bleed every day of the month. When you touch a computer, it gets a virus. The hijackers wanted to hit the Empire State Building, but they saw you in one of the towers and changed course. Elon Musk created SpaceX to get away from you. Brown people think you smell bad. You are the explanation of the burqa. You should drown in the sink like a failed abortion. You are a cunt stain on the underbelly of society. Compared to you, women are rational. I'll let those sink in. Come back if you want more. Hank I find it very nice of you that you took the effort to create a highlight reel of what you consider your best insults. I am unsure what you try to insinuate with a couple of 5 out of 10 7 out of 10 one liners. Presumably that I was wrong to insult your capacity for good insults. But if so, I would like to remind you that your previous insults against me can be summarized as haha you're gay lol which sort of invalidates your boast. We are having a go here, and I expect your A game. Now I find it nice that you choose to refer to me as autistic. But my title is actually His Royal Highness Lord Smack a Bitch the Fourth. But you are of course free to address me as whatever you like, because I'm a nice guy like that. Now you are correct that this began with your insult that was the word faggot six times in one sentence. Way to break the mold, you go get a you, and if you had taken the effort to actually read and comprehend what happened, 
You'd notice that this actually started with me deciding that throwing around some insults with you seemed like a fun thing to do, and as such propositioned have a go mate, an invitation you gladly accepted. Now I could mention again what sort of insults you brought to the table, but that would be redundant. Now let us back to the main reason we're having this here talk, to let me insult some little shithead who uses stale memes and thinks he's hot shit, despite actually being a little shit, i.e. you. Now I would insult you and all that, but I've actually run out of fucks to give so while I go look for one, I suggest you think of a new way to put the essence of your gay lol into a sentence, at a boy. Bob that was a lot of fun. Thanks for being such a good sport about it. Rare to find people who share my appreciation for a good insult war. We should do it again sometime. Hank for sure. I wasn't sure if it was all good for you as well but it's nice that you had fun. Feel free to hit me up if you wanna go again someday. Bob sure thing.